my parents were very hard working, had a very high work ethic and, um, and I think that that's been instilled to me that even if you perhaps don't have a particular talent, if you work hard enough um, at something that you really want to, want to achieve then it, it's possible. Well, it's probably the beard at the moment. There's sort of sprouts during vintage and we're just at the end of vintage. So I go from a you know, stockbroker to a Portuguese pirate in about eight weeks. I'm a pretty good taster. And not everyone is able to taste and articulate what they're tasting. So I think tasting is the number one, but um, tenacity is probably the other one and I, I think that's again a function of my upbringing that you, you keep at it. But it, it's the product in the end, it's also the product when, uh, when you've safely you know, eased a wine into glass and, um, and you show somebody and they go, wow isn't that good, you know, it, uh, it certainly swells the pride. I guess I've been lucky because I've come into a region where we're, we're really at this sort of flux point where for Chardonnay Pinot Noir production in particular it's just working really well because the raw materials are good and vineyard maturity is, you know, they're right in the sweet spot and, um, and so there's an element of luck in the whole thing. My eldest daughter, she's got, a, she's got a really exquisite sense of smell and taste. So 